How's it going everybody? So this one's gonna be a bit of a quickie, mainly for the fact that there isn't a lot that goes into it. It's really simple. And if you know what you're doing and you can speed through it, you could literally get this done in 15 minutes flat. So this is a like all in, no bullshit, how to do the relay upgrade on pretty much any of the T-series equipped cars and more, and way more. This goes beyond the Toyotas, but for us specifically the T-Series, how to upgrade the starter circuit with a relay. Now, if you already know how our starter circuit is, it's just ignition um, positive, like the 12 volts coming off of your ignition, and that goes to the solenoid that kind of starts it up and you're good. The reason why you would want to upgrade that is because as you're starting, the um, you're drawing power from the battery. So now you're also drawing power from your ignition positive and you're drawing, you know, power kind of everywhere just to get your starter spinning. Um, your ignition positive is not a clean signal at that point because it's going to dip. Now, if it dips and then your starter is going to be a little sluggish, so on and so forth, and you, you already know the rest. So how do you fix this? Well, first, let's go into this. Um, Basically, you're going to need a four pin relay. I would say a 40 amp is going to be perfect for this. When you go on the back of the relay, you're going to have four numbers, 86, 87, 85, and 30. 85 goes to ground, any ground, pick a ground, pick a good ground. You can ground it to the battery. I don't care. Mine's grounded, I believe, to the chassis as well as the battery. Well, I have a whole little fuse box thing that I made, but when I originally did it, I just grounded the chassis because I didn't care. The 30 is gonna go to the battery power, fuse that sucker with a 30 amp. I put a 25 and popped it. 30, it's perfectly fine. It starts every time and it'll always go. Going to the actual 86 and 87, this is where you kind of graft it into your system. 86 is the switch, and then 87 goes to the starter solenoid. And if you wanna see how that looks, we're gonna go over here. So we got my shitty drawing of a T50 and a uh, 3TC kind of together. There's your starter, good stuff, good stuff. If you go down here, I got kind of like a blow up of, or not a blow up, but an isolated view of the starter. So the OEM, you got the starter, you have your 12 volts in the battery, and then you have your ignition that goes to that little clip on the top of it. Sometimes they're blue, uh, sometimes they're, um, white it's all good they're all the same um, and then if we go down here we can show where the relay is grafted into it now this right here this line is coming from your combination switch on the uh, in the car so when you uh, put that key it's gonna send the power to this straight here like it's a straight shot if we go down here what you're basically doing is you unplug this stick it into the 86 of the relay and now the 87 of the relay goes to the uh, starter solenoid. So the graft happens right here. That's where it's physically inserted. This stays the same, that's fine. And then right here, all you're doing is making sure you put your 12 volt lead from the battery and a fuse into the 30, and then your 85 is grounded. And that's literally it yeah. there's nothing else that goes into it there's no witchcraft there's no hidden things it's just putting a relay in there and realistically all the relay is doing is just clicking and giving you a clean 12 to the um to the solenoid because you know you have clean battery power now going to the solenoid it's a lot more powered it's not going through a bunch of circuits until you get to that little key combination switch turn it and then to the starter, it's just going straight from battery to relay, which um, realistically is how a lot of people jumpstart these anyways. So that's it. If you wanna do like a button, like a push button start, instead of the key, you would just put, you know, a push button starter with power going to that and then the other lead going to that. And that's really it. So that's the the starter power upgrade, realistically. Um, if you wanna get more, I guess, flow to the starter, you could always put like a bigger power cable going to the side of the starter. But it, it's up to you. This is just how to do the relay. Um, so that's it. 
And if you have a real keen eye, you probably notice that thing over there in the corner. I'm not gonna say what it is just yet, but it took a little bit of a while to get here. And there are no videos of how to install these, um, at least in our language. English or Spanish, doesn't matter. Uh, if you're wondering what that is, I'm not gonna tell you, but I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a solid hint as to what that is. You need this to install it. You can take a hint, you'll, uh, you'll know, and you'll see why it's exciting. <laughs> so catch you guys in the next one. As always, be safe when you're doing this crap because this is electricity, but you know, don't, don't be afraid. And just you know, and plug the battery, do your stuff. Plug the battery in, you can test it and make sure the relay is clicking when you hit the key. If that relay is clicking when you hit the key, then well, then you can put your 30 in, you can put your 87 in, and what you gotta do. So yeah, send it. Have fun guys.